Hey YouTube, alright, I showed you guys I had these GRK. Fasteners the other day. These are eight, three eighths by eight inch, and five sixteenths by six inch. Again, there you go. My camera ever focuses. There's the five sixteenths, six inch, and there's the three eighths, eight inch. So I'm going to see what if these drills could uh, drive these into this blockage pressure treated. You know, I'm going to try a Milwaukee. Uh, Fuel surge first. Then I'm going to do the Milwaukee brushless. The regular Milwaukee compact. The first compact brushless. Then I'm going to do the 12 volt. The wall extreme. Um, a Craftsman brushless. Makita subcompact. And a Makita XDT13. So... Here's the six inch drill. And this is, and all my batteries should be fully charged here. But here's the surge first. Oh, hold on. Wrong side of the tape. I need a third one for you. This six inch is a T30. And this 8 inch is a T40. Pretty big screws. And the fuel drove it. As you can see, no problem. Sticking all the way out on the bottom. And it's it, it, it'll keep going to surge. Oh. All right, so that was the fuel surge. I'm going to do ones that I don't think could do it, which this is the Milwaukee subcompact now. Okay, that one could do it. And this screw is going to be burning hot. Oh, yeah. It's on fire. But I have another one. So let's move that. All right, so the Makita subcompact could do it. A little bit slower than the Surge, but it did it. Um, I know the Makita's gonna, I know the Makita's gonna do it, no problem. So here's the Makita XDT-13. Oh, this had a full battery, by the way. I forgot to show you guys. Still got a full charge after driving that. Alright. The Makita XDT-13. <laughs> And as you can see, it'll it'll keep driving it. Okay, took that sticker right off. So I'll leave that there. That could do it. Now here's a Craftsman brushless, which a lot of people say they're not that good. And I keep telling everybody, let me tell you. This is just as good as any DeWalt and a lot of the Makitas out there. 
Craftsman's brushless. This is this is a year old. This is probably this is older than all of these ones. All of the all the ones here that I'm that I just did. I still have to do that Milwaukee and that little DeWalt. But this this one here is older than this is I've had this before I had all of those. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I gotta do that because I bottomed out on my, on my, uh, I bottomed out on my vice. Let me go. And this screw is hot now. All right, so I'm gonna try it right here. Oh, I'm gonna... Now, this doesn't have a tip on it. Mind you, because I just grinded the tip off on my... <laughs> I just grinded the tip off of that. Again, no problem. And I'm going to show you something. Look at that smoke. That's from the screw, because it's so hot. Well, hold on. Let me get... A pair of pliers because I'm not going to touch that screw right now. Actually, it's too tight. I'm going to show you this craftsman just did it without no. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the tip on that. I literally just grinded the tip off of that. So the Craftsman Brushless just drove this six inch um, fastener with no tip on it. Here's one with a tip, a point, and here's one without, and that's the one without the point. So I kinda just, I kinda just ruined that screw, but that's okay. And let's see. Still, still, still three bars on the Craftsman. So as you see, that Craftsman's pretty quick. Craftsman was just almost as quick as the Makita one. I'm not timing this or nothing. I'm just testing these out. All right, now here's a DeWalt Extreme. Two amp hour. These are all two amp hour batteries on here. Uh, actually, the Surge has a three high output. But all the rest of these are all 2 amp hours. And I'm going to key the one that I just used has a 3 amp hour battery on it. But basically, they're all through the same thing. Let's see if the, let's see if the DeWalt Extreme could do it. There you go. The wall extreme. 12 volt extreme. And mine's got a little mine's got a little clip on it for bits I ordered off of I don't know, Walmart online, I think. Alright. So there there you go. Even the the brushless brushless uh Extreme can do it. And of course, I know for a fact that the regular Milwaukee brushless four, four bars. This is like the Gen 2, I think. This screw is going to be hot. Yeah, that screw is really hot. Hold on. I don't want to touch that screw now because it's so friggin' hot. Okay, and here's the Milwaukee. And of course, that. That drove it the quickest, if you've seen that. That drove it.
super fast. All right, so that was a six inch. Now I'm gonna go up to the eight inch. Where's the eight inch? I took the sticker off. Oh, I didn't take the sticker off. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the eight inch and I'll do, I'll do it with the Milwaukee, same Milwaukee one. As you can see, still has four bars. Let's see what this does. That's something. No problem. In and out, no problem. All right, let's see if the fuel could do it. And don't forget, like I said, the fuel has a three amp hour high output battery, four bars. Okay, that screw's not that hot yet. It's gonna be hot after this one. So the fuel, you see how the fuel keeps stopping. I mean, it'll do it, but that's a big screw, okay? And this isn't really meant for that. All right, so let's see if the Makita Subcompact, again, this is only a two amp hour battery on here. I could put a bigger one if I wanted to. Four bars. And this thing is going to be so hot. Oh, that screw is hot. All right, here's the subcompact. Eight inch. Three eighths. Okay, so this is better than this this is better than the fuel. 